and I bet many of them were hoping tonight was finally the night. Yeah, no question about it, Chris. Unusual atmosphere downtown in Cleveland tonight. As many fans, they kind of feel like expecting parents anxiously awaiting the news that many feel will be coming. Look around Progressive Field at tonight's Indians game, and you'll see a mix of jerseys, Indians, Yankees, and for the first time in four years, LeBron's Cavs jerseys. Come home, baby! Come home! Come home. The jersey. You thought it was going to happen tonight? Yeah, I thought it was. I was a little disappointed. I was checking Twitter uh, during early in the game, and I heard he's gonna, probably going to make the decision tomorrow. Are you going to wear it tomorrow? I'll probably wear it tomorrow to work, yeah. <laughs> Breaking the jerseys out was, for some, therapeutic. LeBron leaving kind of ruined high school for me in many ways. Don't have time to get into that. I got the shoes on, too. Or that. Too much to do as we hurry up and wait. It feels the exact same as the 2010 decision, only reverse where he's coming back. Yes, as fans anxiously awaited the news out of Las Vegas, many did so with one eye on the action on the field and the other glued to Twitter. What were they finding out? And this guy says that, you know, I heard that his, you know, this guy, this guy and that guy. Still most thought the fact that LeBron still needed time to check with his family means one thing. The fact that it's taking this long, I think he's coming back. You know what, I have a good feeling that he's, he's home, man. LeBron, the king, he's home. But I'm optimistic. And I, don't, I wouldn't even say cautiously optimistic. It's more like a feeling that it's, it's going to happen. And obviously the big question tonight all on everyone's minds, just when whatever will happen, will happen. Live in downtown Cleveland, John Kasich, News Channel 5.